get a little straight hair and don't know how to act. Is it giving what it's supposed to give? I think it's time to wash it. That's okay though. It's all right, cause it's a little flimsy. But it was giving body when I first got it done, let's be clear. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alicia Elizabeth and I am so excited that you are here with me today. Um, if you are a new subscriber, go ahead and hit that button below and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, hey boo hey, you know the deal. Go ahead and grab you a snack because we're going to be here for a little bit. I wanted to hop on here because well, why do I even give you disclaimers? Why? Let's just skip past that. It's been a minute. I jumped on here, I want to say in March or maybe the end of February. And I had the intent to start vlogging, right? But March was my birthday month. And do y'all know what I did with March? I rested. I literally took the month of March to rest, to recharge, and to reset. And when I tell you it was so good to me, I don't even think that captures it. March was my birthday month. And your girl is officially 30 years old. So, of course, before we roll into anything else on this channel, I had to swing by and give y'all 30 things that I am sure of, plan to do, expecting, am letting go of, preparing for, demanding, etc. Right? So, my 30 things. First of all, I had a birthday dinner. And it was for my sturdy 30. That's what I've been calling my 30th. My sturdy 30. And I should have wrote the definition down. But essentially, sturdy means to be well built, right? It focuses on the foundation of a thing. Um, and it's just, it's solid. It's confident. It's just, mm, it's given what it's supposed to give. And so for my 30s, this chapter of 30s, I am calling this sturdy 30. Now, I know people call it dirty 30, flirty 30. All of that, y'all can have it because it comes with it. But for me, this is a chapter of being sturdy, right? And an ongoing chapter because it's not like the sturdiness should decline at 40. But baby, 30 feels so good. It feels so good. I'm sorry, I'm just peeking on my window because I think I have a package coming. So let's get right into this video because y'all know I'm going to be talking. Even though I want it to be a five-minute video, it's going to turn out to be a 30-minute video. And I hope that the things that I share bless you in some way. Um, if you can resonate with anything that I said or just want to comment, please do so below. Or you can write me privately on any of my social media platforms. What I will say before I dive into this list is that I truly do intend to start vlogging. I think I just needed March. I'm, I was ready to come back, but March was giving girl rest, relax, and just make sure your cup is full. And when I tell y'all I'm in the overflow... I am in the overflow. So thankful, so thankful, so happy, so excited. Just so many things. So in no particular order, I literally just wrote 30 things. I did a free write. And if you know, a free write is where you just kind of write the things off the top of your head. Yeah, I could have maybe spent more quality time with this list, but it's not that deep. Like it's a, it's, it's, it's like it's giving substance, but it's not that deep to where I need to think, hmm, what words do I want to capture for 30? Because I know my life is going to change over the next 10 years, right? But here and now, these are things that are looming in my spirit. So first of all, number one, this is the best, most creative, most confident version of myself. I feel like so many things has changed in my life in 2022. And I feel so good about these changes. I'm excited about what's to come. This is the best version of myself. This is the most creative version of myself. This, this version at 30 is going to change so much, but it's going to be sharpened, right? It's going to be excellent. I'm excited to see what my actual taste and style looks like. I'm excited to see what life looks like when I ramp up the heat on my execution of things. This is the best version of myself because mentally, I'm there. And so now it's about shaving off the fat, um, trimming the fat, which is just like the excess of things. Um, it's about making sure I get into the details, get into the crook and nannies. Crook, is it crook and nannies? Get into the corners, you know, the places that you overlook. That's what 30 is given. It's given meticulous, it's given focused on the fine things. This is that chapter. Number two, 
debt free. Number three, healthy. No more mountaintops and valley with my weight. My weight yo-yos. And you all have been able to witness that. And I'm okay with it. Like I am quick this well not a disclaimer because y'all been rocking with me. If you don't know, I'm that woman that's like, look, you don't gotta you don't I don't need you to try to make me feel I'm a thicky. <laughs> okay. I know that I am, but I also know that when I'm focused, I'm still gonna be a thicky, but I'll be a healthier thicky, right? It's giving muffin and neutral green bar <laughs> or muffin and like a muffin made of wheat like it's still a muffin that's what i should have said a regular muffin and a muffin made of wheat still a muffin the ingredients look different right so this is the season and this is the chapter of my life where i really want to just be healthy i want to learn to embody busy and healthy i want to learn to embody busy and making good food choices i want to learn to embody eating out and working out consistently right because i told you all this but covid honey covid showed me us being quarantined showed me what a bomb version of myself is not only in body but just what i would do with my time and then life got rough and that's gonna happen like right now i'm at a high in my life but I know logically and based on wisdom and maturity that in two years, in one year, at the end of this year, in five years, and six years, another storm may come. And I don't want to keep yo-yoing when it comes to my health. So this is the year, the decade, where I really want to make sure I lock in on a healthier life where the it's not yo-yoing so much that when I ramp up working, I have the skill set and the there's a word I want to use, but I don't want to use it incorrectly, that my um, reflexes to being busy isn't to go back into eating as if I've lost my mind, right? Um, because that's essentially what happens. My schedule gets out of whack and then I'm snacking more or I don't take the time to meal prep or, you know, think about what I'm eating. I'm not getting good sleep. It's just like a down spiral. Balance. That's what this is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a decade where I am my healthiest because I am trying to find some sense of balance we never really get balance but some sense of it um or priorities i should say number four intentional community um i closed out my 30s with the people who were with me in my 20s not everybody i definitely didn't have everybody at my dinner but i definitely want this forward chapter to be about who I'm picking to be in my community and not just people who maybe have just journeyed with me. And I'm not saying, you know, that I'm not thankful for those people, but I really want to seek out my community in a more intentional and aggressive way moving forward because it's real easy to just be journeying with people who you've journeyed with and they don't serve any purpose or you all no longer are useful to each other. You're just journeying together. And so for my 30s, I am aspiring, my, I'm challenging myself and I'm aspiring to find people who I need on my journey, to seek them out, to give them their flowers, to let them know that I need them um, so that forward years have a more intentional pro forward sense of propelling, not only because I've networked and connect with people, but because I've sought people out who I needed in my journey and I wasn't passive about it, if that makes any sense um number five wealthier i'm already a wealthy woman but wealthier number six well rested number seven an educator number eight a traveler number nine um i put intentional about community again didn't even realize that so for number nine i'm gonna just say we'll come back to number nine number 10 i put pickier about access i think i'm a private person if you know me like if we are in relationship you know my business right but if you don't know me, you don't know me. <laughs> that was not deep at all. Let me see how I can rephrase that. And I wasn't trying to be deep. People who have access to me have access to me. <laughs> I'm going to repeat myself again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I want to be pickier about access. Even though I think I'm already a private person, I want to continue in that way. I love my participation on social media. I really do. Because 
people know what I want them to know. And then the people who have worked to be in my inner circle know way more. I love that about myself. That's one of the things I love about myself. Um, I know that there's so much I can pour out online, but I have learned over the years that giving away everything is not wise because people don't appreciate it. And I think it just waters down, it waters down those intimate relationships. And I love that the people who have access to me, they have, you know, not that they had to work for it or they were worthy, but like they're in it with me. They're in the ring with me. So it makes sense that they should know about every, you know, disappointment and the joys and the, like, I just feel like that's, that's sweet. That's so, that's so sweet to me. So I'm going to continue to be picky about access to me. But I am planning to be on here. I plan to vlog more. I plan to share more. I want to give more to this platform because I do enjoy this video um, documenting process. And I hate when I fall off, truth be told. But I always understand why I do. So I'm challenging myself while I endeavor into my 30s to document more and to give more because God has given me so much that it's disobedient to not pour out, right? Um... 11, teachable. 12, I want to be decisive. Um, I want my yes to be my yes and my no to be my no. Number 13, I am my softest. Y'all, 2022. Woo, I can't even tell y'all in this video. But when I tell you, I've realized this year, I mean, I've been knowing it, but like at 30, and I say at 30, like I just turned 30, y'all, on the 22nd of March. But this year, in 2022, I realized that I am more than superwoman. I'm more than a boss. I'm more than the alpha in the pack. But I am soft, right? Like, baby, my skin is soft, okay? My exes will tell you that. But I am a soft woman. And I, I see on Twitter, there's like this, we're in this mode right now where women are saying they want ease and they want you know to feel feminine and soft and I feel it I get it I love it let's put language to it but like I really in my grown woman stature I am a very soft woman and I realize and we'll probably talk about this somewhere later in my list who you partner with brings that out assist in bringing that out but I am a soft woman, like delicate, you know, and like, uh, I don't know. We'll talk about that in one of the videos, okay? We're going to get into it. Um, number 14, I want, I put dating good men. Shout out to the men I've dated in my 20s. Because even though we did not work with any of them, they were good men, okay? I have been thinking about how well my dating experiences have been were there bumps in the road absolutely but I have to say because I don't know if women say this enough out loud but the men that I have chosen to spend time with have been phenomenal I have no regrets in the men that I've picked in my 20s um, I have nothing but experiences and lessons that they have given me that I can carry on to where I'm heading and I want to continue in that way. Um, now that I'm older, I want to make sure I'm dating good men and I'm aligning with men who we're on the same page. I realized that breakups never feel good, right? But you almost can truly avoid certain experiences and breakups if you really are truthful with yourself, truthful with them, and ask yourself, are we in alignment? right instead of letting our emotions lead really saying like well what do you want and like I think in the beginning we always want similar things but I think it requires like those kind of conversations require truly some honesty with yourself so that you can avoid getting to um a split in the road that you knew you could have avoided if you had just been honest about things from the beginning, if that makes sense. And I don't think you're, I don't think we ever go into relationships lying or we're malicious, but I'm saying like, really saying like, am I, am I, am I supposed to be a part of your past, you know, in this way? Do we want the same things? 
am I supposed to journey with you or am I supposed to be cheering you on? What, you know, we're going to get into this on another video. Because y'all see I got so much on it. But I do want to continue dating good men. I want to date good men. I mean, I'm declaring that in my 30s, I will be married. Um, yeah, I think I definitely am ready for that. I think I'm, I'm not going to say tomorrow. But I think that somewhere in my 30s, I would love to be dating, courting, and then get married. Like, you know, and the whole family expansion. I definitely feel like that is, you know, it's been in my spirit. Just like, okay, let's partner and let's build with someone, you know? Um, 15, creative in all ways. I'm ready to play with my hairstyles, my nails, my outfits. I'm ready to show y'all some little looks, you know, whatever. I'm ready to publish my book. I'm ready to publish books. I'm ready to publish videos. I'm ready to like really be creative out loud in this chapter. Um, not that I haven't been in my 20s, but I think I, I think in my 20s I work too much. And so somewhere on this list, I don't think I wrote this, but we're going to make this number nine. I'm going to dedicate less time to an employer and more time to myself. So nine, we're going to change that real quick. 30s will also be the year of being my own boss. So and that's not to say I won't work a nine to five. It's more so to say in my thirties, I definitely want to dedicate more time to myself and the things that I want to see in the world. Um and March again, because I took some time off in March, I rested, recharged, and relaxed. I can now see that I've given so much of my soft skill set and my like, you know the irreplaceable skill sets to jobs and I need to give them to myself so that I can like produce the things that I wish and hope to see but they don't exist so yeah um 16 a writer 17 exuding love well 18 I am loved well remember my list is things that I'm sure of plan to do expect letting go preparing for and demanding so it'll be worded different for all of them I think I'm a great lover that's all I'm gonna say 19, praying woman or prayer warrior. 20, the goats in the areas I choose to participate in. 21, happy, peaceful, and joy lives deep in me. I said peaceful. Happiness, peace, and joy live deep in me. 21, 22, I want to try everything. Everything um, with some wisdom, okay? I'm not trying to ruin my life. 23, I want to fail excellently. 24, I have accepted that I am a loner. This is the most, this is strange. Um, I think I might've recorded this a while ago in one of my videos, maybe, maybe not. But I don't know if it's where I'm located or if it's really like some type of makeup of who I am. But I am both extroverted and introverted. I know that's like ambivert, ambivert, ambivert. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I have a huge community, but I think somewhere in my balance, I I do a lot of things alone. Um, and I don't I don't have any negative feelings towards this. I think so remember I told you I wrote this list kind of like free write. So I didn't unpack it. I wrote a loner and I put, and I'm okay with that. And maybe I'll have to circle back to this. But in my 30s, I realized that the things that I'm trying to do, I might have to do them alone. That's what I'm thinking when I say loner. I don't write that I'm a loner as in I have no one. I don't have a community. I don't have people. That's not it at all. I think a lot of the places that I'm choosing to go to or that God is calling me into or has called me into often look like I'm going into them alone until people choose to join or until it's set up for people to come along. Um, and so I think my journey in life has often put me in positions where I'm by myself. Um, but once I arrive at certain places, it is so that I can go back and bring people along. If that makes sense. Um, 25. Sexier. Definitely sexier. And I want to take more ownership of that. Um, 
another thing that we'll unpack. This might be 30 videos that we have to talk about. 26, I want to be a better partner romantically. Um, 27, I want to be a better partner platonically. So I want to be a better partner to the people I'm dating. I want to be a better partner to the people I'm in community with. 28, um, I decide. I'm taking complete control and ownership over every area of my life. Of course, with God still is the head of this household and things like that. But I decide. I decide. And that's another video for another day. 29, authentic. Um, Y'all remember when I did my Brene Brown series? I am still chewing on Nene. Me and Nene going to be friends for life. In this decade, you're definitely getting a very honest version of Alicia. Um, whether it's from this YouTube, whether it's from if you're in my inner circle, whether you're in some sort of circle, you're definitely getting authenticity from me. Um, one of the things I want to highlight which was so yummy about my birthday was that um, everything I decided, um, I mean, just so many details, ownership that align with what I just shared with you all. But so I got my nails done. I'm jumping around. Let me see. And it's interesting, right? Um, I love them. I love them. I had her do this little finger because um, I wanted to make sure, like, I think at a distance, this doesn't look like my nails are done. It almost looks like my nails are dirty. So I was like, yeah, can you do like a solid color just so it still like looks like, oh, your nails are done. Let me look at them. But one of my friends, and she may or may not watch my video, but she was like, oh, girl, I thought when you said you was going to get your nails done, you was going to get your nails done. Like that, like she's saying like, you know, claws. And I was, I'm not surprised by that at all because that's what most people think, Right. I was like, this is getting my nails done. Because this is like gel, you know, and the girl had to do a design and all that. But in being authentic, I had to realize what works for me. What do I like, right? And so people were saying, like, you should get your face beat. You should do all this stuff. And I was, like, down for it because, hello, it's my 30th. Like, it's giving grown woman. But I also had to realize, like, I don't want to enter my 30s looking disconnected from myself. I don't want to enter my 30s feeling disconnected from myself. I am interested in trying wigs and sew-ins and different hair colors and things like that, but it's going to be on my terms, right? I don't really care for makeup and I have really sensitive skin, so I just don't play with it, right? But if I'm going to get makeup done, it'll be on my time and I'll have to figure out which makeup line it is and, you know, really find someone I trust. Like, I wish this girl lived in Columbus. She lives in the DMV. She's not going to be my nail tech after today, after that event, right? Unless I go home and get my nails. And I have to find a nail tech out here who I trust with the health of my nails. Because 30, I don't know, like, you thinking about the health of everything. And I'm like, I want healthy nail beds. I've always liked healthy nail beds. I like how they look on people. But more than anything, what people don't realize is that your nails tell you a lot about your health, right? I'm not deviating from this. I don't just want my face to be beat for an event. I really want to know that, Alicia, your face is breaking out because you're drinking too much soda. Or your face is breaking out because the products that you're using don't work well with your skin. You know, or they products in your hair. Like, I want to look good in my natural state. And so I didn't do a, a beat face. I didn't draw on my eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These are my lashes. And I felt beautiful. But I share all that to say. Authenticity looks like not only authentic, authentic in what I share, but also who, how I present myself, even if it's just to myself, for myself, privately and publicly. These nails, they might not be everybody's favorites, right? But I love this because this design, I'm like, this speaks to the, art, the artist in me. This little uh, abstract design I love it. And I told her, I said, if I didn't have like a look for my dress and stuff, I would have had you do multiple colors of different abstract lines because that is beautiful to me. I love that look. I don't care what other people like. I want to see what Alicia enjoys. What would Alicia wear? What is flattering to her body? What color does she like on her skin? You know what I mean? So 29 is giving authentic. Okay. And 30 is giving sturdy. All right. 
So that's just 30 things that I was thinking about off the top of my head that this chapter is bringing forth, that I'm demanding I see more of, that I produce, that I exude, that I encourage, that I develop, all that good stuff. I'm going to unpack those things on my channel throughout the course of this year, the course of the next 10 years. I don't know what that looks like. But... I'm so happy you watched the video through. I told y'all it would be 30 minutes. It is now at the 25 minute mark. I'm going to say one more thing. I'm thinking about uploading videos every other day. I've been thinking about some vlogs. I've been thinking about some uh, reviews. I've been thinking about um, definitely the health. Like my channel might be all over the place, but that's okay because it's essentially going to be like a lifestyle channel, I think. Um, and even if no one watches, I mean, I always say this, but I really feel this way in my spirit. I just like recording these for myself. So if you're here, let me know you're here below. And you know, if nobody's here, they'll be for my documenting purposes that I'm publicly putting out into the world that if someone should be up at 2 a.m. one night and they're like, I wish I had a big sister to talk to or somebody, I could be that girl for you. I'm excited because I plan to launch some things with Unhumble Woman. So if you are not following that Instagram page, please make some time to go follow that. I have some exciting plans in store for that platform. Um, definitely going to be sharing more about my fitness and health regiments and routines as I develop and stick with them. So that is on Thick Educator. Both of those are on um, Instagram. My blog is Alicia hyphen Elizabeth. Did I say hyphen? Dash Elizabeth. Uh, is my last name on there? No, it's just AliciaElizabeth.com. I'll be writing on there. I mean, this is going to be an exciting year and an exciting decade. And I, if I were you, I would get on the ride and buckle up. Okay? So thank you so much for watching this far, thus far. Um, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe because I have some exciting stuff that I plan to share with y'all. And I'm just going to be having fun. So it's going to be all over the place. One day I'm going to be like, welcome to Alicia's Kitchen. And the next day I'm going to be like, what y'all think about these shoes? And all of that is me embodying this chapter for me. Okay? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.